so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys another modded outfit from the outfit transfer glitch and this was actually brought to me by a subscriber on instagram he showed me um what it looked like and i decided to make a video on it so you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose and also before you start go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one um, you want to buy once you got that come over here to the clothing store open up your interaction menu and set your spawn location to last location once you've got that hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start put on the outfit that you don't want to lose make sure you got the rebreather or the earpiece when you're ready come to the clothing store set your spawn location to the last location hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so once you get in here you want to make sure that your female is on the left side if she's on the right side you're not going to be able to do the glitch but anyway all you want to do is go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete your second character and then two new characters will walk in and they're going to get the edit option edit option for your second character once you get the edit option for your second character just go ahead and select it when he or she is going you're going to get this alert right here you just want to go ahead and accept it once you get inside of here if your second character ended up being a um, female change it into a male but if it's already a male just leave it as a male just go ahead and save and continue and make a random name for it once you make the name for it and take the picture it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer for me it's gonna play it but for some of you guys it may not play it so whether it plays it or not it's not going to affect the glitch you're just waiting to get spawned inside of your new session also one last thing you don't need to have the white joggers to do the glitch you're gonna get the white joggers from doing the transfer glitch so if you don't got the white joggers don't worry about it right now you're gonna get them from doing the glitch so once you get spawned inside your new session the first thing you want to do is open up your map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session if you do see the clothing stores make your way over to the nearest one but if you don't see any clothing stores all you got to do is just hit your pause button go to online and switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session so if you do see the clothing stores make your way over to the nearest one if you don't see any clothing stores just switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session and also from here if you don't have any money on your second character it's because you didn't put the money in the bank on your main character so just go back on your main character Put the money in the bank and then it's going to be able to be shared between um, your first and second character So once you get to the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to party shirts and buy the burgundy garland short sleeve and that's going to be the last one. So go to party shirts and buy the burgundy garland short sleeve which should be the last shirt. Once you got that you want to make your way over to the pants, go to the shorts and buy the tan striped boxer shorts. So just come over here to the pants. Go to the shorts and purchase the tan striped box of shorts. So once you got that, you want to make your way over to the shoes. Go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops. So just come over here to the shoes. Go to the sneakers and purchase the pink plain high tops. And if you don't like how the shoe looks after you've done the transfer glitch and all that, you are going to be able to change the shoes once you're done. So now once you got the shoes, from here you can go back to the beginning of the video and look at the pink outfit that I put on. If you guys want that hat with your outfit, just go to the hats, go to fedoras and purchase the white fedora. I don't think it's going to look good with the outfit, but 
that's my choice if you guys do want that checkerboard hat on your outfit go to the fedoras which is going to be in the hats and purchase the white fedora and that's going to be towards the bottom once you got that just come over here to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves so just come over here to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves Once you've got the light woodland tactical gloves, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And as always, when you save it, make sure you save it in a empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was on slot 20, you will just save this in a different slot. So just save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. Once you got that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to leather jacket and purchase the leopard leather fur jacket. So just come over here to the tops, go to leather jackets and purchase the leather leopard fur jacket. So once you got this right here, you just want to go ahead and back out, stay in the top section, go to business shirts and buy the white shirt. So just stay in the top section, go to business shirts and buy the white shirt. So this one right here just go ahead and buy it once you got that make your way over to the accessories go to the ties and buy the navy skinny tie so just go over to the accessories go to the ties and buy the navy skinny tie So this one right here, the navy skinny tie. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, just go ahead and save it underneath of the previous outfit that you just made. Once you save it, just go ahead and back out, open up your interaction menu, and just take the easy way out. Once you get spawned outside, all you want to do is just hit your pause button, go to online, and just go inside a creator or just click on creator. Once you get inside a creator, click on create a race and then click on land race. Once you get loaded in, click on race details. Just go ahead and fill out the title and the description. You don't gotta be anything specific. I just put in random stuff for it. After that, go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two, and set the route type on point to point. Once you got that, hit your pause button, open up your map, and warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit your back button and click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down. And then click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, and then back out of that and click on checkpoints. Now when you're making the race, it has to be 1.00 miles long, or however long miles it lets you make it. Because some people, it lets them make it only up to 0.67 and it still works for them. But as you can see for me, it lets me go all the way up to 1 mile long. So just make it however long it lets you make it. And then just hit your back button twice, either B or circle. And it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out.
once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed alert. You just wanna go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and just go to choose character. So from here, all you want to do is go over to your second character that got the outfit on and you're going to delete them. So make sure you delete your guy character that got the outfit, you don't want to delete your main character by accident. So just go over to your guy character and delete them. Once you delete your guy character, two new characters will walk in. From there just hit your back button, either B or circle and it's going to take you inside of single player. Once you get loaded inside of single player, all you want to do is just hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GT online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is just going inside of a invite only session. Once you load into online, the first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose. And once you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your other outfits. Anyway, once you got that, you want to go to the tops, go to the bikinis, and purchase the black bikini. So just come over here to the tops, go to the bikini, and purchase the black bikini bikini so this one right here once you got that make your way over to the accessories go to the gloves and purchase the white cotton gloves so just come over to the accessories that. go to the gloves and purchase the white cotton gloves Once you got the bikini and the white cotton gloves, from here just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you want to start up crooked cops. When you start up crooked cops, make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player own, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either one friend or one random to join. So once you get inside of here, you want to go down to owned outfits and you're going to have a few options. So hit right on the d-pad once to have a cherries like this. You can hit right on the d-pad twice to have it like this. Or hit it twice to the right and once to the left to have her cherries like that. So it's up to you however you want to have it. Either hit right on the d-pad once, twice, or twice to the right and once to the left. So it's up to you however you want to have her cherries. Once you got that, just go ahead and ready up. When you load inside the job or the mission, all you're gonna do is open up your interaction menu, 
go to your styles, go to your accessories, put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. From there, open up your phone and quit the job. And like I said earlier, once you go back inside your online session, you are going to be able to change your shoes. So if you don't like the shoes that comes with the outfit, you can change it to sneakers or whatever you want to put it as. So once you get loaded inside your online session, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And once you save it, just go ahead and delete the component. And like I've already said multiple times, you can change the shoes if you want to. If you don't like these, you can change the sneakers or whatever since they're joggers. And yeah, if you want to have her cherries completely invisible, just save this outfit towards the bottom. And then buy the black bikini again. And then the gloves. And then just merge it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it. Share, subscribe if you already haven't, and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on further videos.